Hey guys, Brox here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the Mega Drive I did the Twitch fix on in my previous video. Now today what I want to do is install one of my switchless region mods into this Mega Drive. Now this is going to be more of a, a vlog video. Uh, the reason for that is I already have a, a video uh, of me installing one of these switchless region mods into a Mega Drive 2. So yeah, if you want to see me fit this thing, stick around and I'll crack on with that. Now, the first thing I want to do is remove the old power indicator LED. So I'm just going to flip the board around. I'm going to come in with my desoldering gun and I'm just going to suck that off. That should. There you go. That's that. What I need to do now is cut three traces. So, what I'll do is I'll cut those traces and then show you them afterwards. That's the three traces cut. I also prepared them while I was there as well so uh, what I did was I cut the trace um, scraped away a little bit of the solder mask and then came along with my soldering iron uh, and put a little bit of solder on there it just makes it easy for me to uh, solder them now the wire to this all I have to do is touch it and it will solder to that uh, trace uh, here's the second one uh, that I cut just here same again I prepared that and here's the third one I cut just here cut that and then again I just scraped away the solder mast uh, and prepared it so yeah what I'll do now is I'll just install the switchless region mod and I'll show you it once it's done that's the switchless region mod installed what I'll do now is I'll get the lid back on this thing and give it a quick test As you can see, we're all back together. Now I've not got a game in the console yet because I wanted to show you the cartridge slot. I've gone ahead and widened the cartridge slot. I've also made new cartridge slot flaps as well. So um, if you wanna know how you widen a, a slot like this on this Mega Drive 2 and Mega Drives and make new cartridge slot flaps, I'll put a link to a video I have in the description below. I'm ready to give this system a quick test. I have a game in the cartridge slot. So let's power on. And we've started up in green. So this should be European power. And it started up in 50 hertz. You can tell that because I've got the black borders. Um, let's see if the language is right. So let's start Streets of Rage. And if it's European, the title screen should still say Streets of Rage. So let's get to the title screen. There we go, Streets of Rage. So that's working fine. Now let's reset the console in US mode. Hold the button till we get to orange. Let go. Console resets. And now we're in 60 hertz. You can see the screen's opened up. There's no more borders. And I'm getting that clash with the camera and the TV because the TV's at 60 hertz and I'm recording in 50 frames a second. And that's where we're getting that shimmering. So now we should still be in US mode. Let's start Streets of Rage so that the title screen should still say Streets of Rage. And it does focus. There you go, Streets of Rage. So that's working fine. Now let's reset the game into Japanese mode. Let it get to red. Console resets. And we're still in 60 Hz. We can see that. Now let's test the language. We're going to Streets of Rage and it should say bare knuckle now because that's the Japanese name for Streets of Rage and there we go bare knuckle so yeah that's working perfectly fine so yeah I hope you like this video guys please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always 
I'll catch you on the next one. Sweet. Play me some Streets of Rage. Bare knuckle. <laughs> Winner.